being coachable gives them access to what they don't know that they don't know. And it's no mystery. It's no mystery. I mean, I've worked with top-level athletes for years. I remember when Summer Sanders was 13 years old. Now, tell me, what 13-year-old knows everything there is to know about being an Olympic champion? Well, a lot of them think they know, but really, in reality, no, they don't know. I mean, what 13-year-old really knows, right? So Summer Sanders was 13 years old, and she didn't know everything there was to know about being an Olympic, Olympic champion, but she became one. What gave her access was being coachable and the working relationship with her coaches. And I happen to know her coaches, Mike Hastings and Richard Quick. She was extremely coachable. And that's what gave her access to actually becoming an Olympic champion. So what I've discovered over the years of working with all my top level athletes is that there's four distinct levels of coachability. So the first level of coachability is not coachable. Oh, I would think so. <laughs> well, consider that most of us, most of the time, we listen to one voice and one voice only. Whose voice is it? Our own little voice. That's the voice we listen to. So when we're not coachable, we don't listen to anyone else. We're only listening to ourselves. That's the only person we listen to. So in that state, naturally, we are, we are as a result, not coachable because we're only listening to one voice and that's our own little voice. So that's where most people reside most of the time. Now as a business coach, you have to really be aware of that because if you're not aware of it, you're gonna be banging your head up against the wall. So most people are most of the time not coachable. The second level of coachability is selectively coachable. And selectively coachable means that you'll do what the coach asks you to do when you agree with it. <laughs> the rest of the time you're listening to your own little voice again. <laughs> now this is where you have a small percentage of people. <laughs> You have some that are selectively coachable. Most are not coachable. So that's where most people are, okay, in these first two categories. And we haven't even gotten to level three yet. <laughs> so level three is reluctantly coachable. And by the way, you'll have this in your training manual so as well, so, uh, so it's a, just to refresh your memory. But reluctantly coachable means that you, you will do everything that the coach asks you to do, whether you agree with it or not. So you're still having your own little voice in the background that's saying things like, Oh, well, I'll try it for now and see how long it lasts. Or, uh, I'm not sure if he really knows what he's talking about. I'll give it a go for about six weeks, and if it doesn't work, well, I'll just fire him and go back to the way it used to be. <laughs> so that's reluctantly coachable. And even this is fairly rare. the quantum shift occurs in becoming completely coachable. And this is truly extraordinary. So completely coachable means that you actually completely trust your coach. You trust that your coach has your best interest at heart. 
and therefore you actually empower your coach to win and if your coach wins then you win too it is a radical radical level, level of coachability it is a breakthrough level and quite frankly most people have no clue of what this is really like but let me ask you a question what level of coachability coachability do you think it takes to reach the Olympic Games yeah it's obvious completely coachable it really does take that to be the amongst the finest in the world it takes being completely coachable but sometimes the people might be completely coachable at the onset they become oh they yeah fall back to reluctance oh sure to yeah Christy Yamaguchi did that she got to the Olympic Games and fired her coach and ended up flat on her butt okay so that happens mm -hmm. yeah it really happens so let me tell you a story about, and now by the way, this is a process. It is possible to go through the whole level and actually reach being completely coachable. It's not something you flip a switch. You're not naturally born being completely coachable. That's not the case. You get trained in being coachable.